you're in it, you know. If you don't have that trust fund to back it up, you know, you got to work your ass off. Doing the research and trying to do a business plan, we realized we weren't going to get money and um, banks weren't going to give us a dime. We didn't have anything to work with, so um, Kevin borrowed a little bit of money. I um, had a little bit of credit card room and we basically crossed our fingers, you know, if it wouldn't have happened in the first, if we wouldn't have started making money in the first month, we probably wouldn't have lasted two or three months. Well, our premise is repairs and used bikes, so that's kind of when we opened. We, I think we had like six used bikes and just counted on service to carry us along and parts and accessories and things like that. So, um, you know, there seems to be a lot more shops kind of focusing on used stuff and recycled parts. And uh, uh, the nice thing about that is it's just low overhead. You know, you're not blowing all your money on uh, pre-season orders with tons of bikes. Knowing all the other people in town at other shops helped a lot too. You know, we were buying parts from them for a little while, just trying to, you know, when we didn't have stuff in stock, buying a few used bikes and just kind of, you know, we borrowed tools the first year. Having connections really helped a lot and then being in the industry for whatever, 20 plus years, you know. But uh, I think if we weren't locals or hadn't been around Missoula for very long, I don't think we would have been, made it very far at all. You know, just it was having that customer base kind of already from being at other shops in the same town. Your best bet's going to be working at a shop. You know, there's always someone that does the ordering, someone's a mechanic and a salesperson, so a lot of those jobs are separate, but if you can try to get your hands on a little bit of everything just to see how it all works, the better it's going to be. You know, I've seen other shop owners be excited about people where they've gone to, like, the Barnett's Bicycle Institute and taken classes and kind of expected to know what 60, 70 years of bike knowledge, I guess, and, you know, going to class for two weeks doesn't teach you that. I think as far as what it takes, I don't know. I think just uh, pulling the trigger more than anything.